Hi and welcome to day six of our 30 days of yoga challenge. Um, today we're going to be focusing on um, inner strength, so core focused postures to um, help us to build physical strength and also inner strength. So we're going to start with um, a few abdominal breaths. So we're just going to sit comfortably, uh, you can bring your hands to your belly if you find that helpful or just rest the hands as you wish. And you're going to breathe in to the abdomen, um, so expanding the abdomen with the in-breath. And then exhale and draw the belly towards the spine. So it's a real feeling of contraction as you're breathing out. Breathing in, expanding. Exhale. Belly towards the spine. Breathing in, expanding. So really directing the breath into the abdomen. Exhale, belly towards the spine, belly button towards the spine. And you can feel that you're working the abdominal muscles and then release. Okay, good. We're going to have a look at Navasana. So the first yoga posture, then uh, well, variations of Navasana. This is boat pose. Um, we kind of build incrementally with this. So we're going to take the toes to the mat. I'll move a little bit forward. Toes to the mat. Just going to bring the arms um, out in front of you, kind of shoulder height. And all we're going to do is we're going to lift up through the chest, just so we're not kind of sinking into it. Lift up through the chest and just ease back to the point at which you can feel your abdominal muscles, so your core muscles around here, um, working. Okay. If you're not used to this pose, it might be the case that you really feel it more into the hip flexors. That's why we want to try to keep that kind of lift and really focus on the muscles around here. So we're just going to hold this a couple of breaths. Okay, remember you're just working to uh, what feels good for you. If you need to come out for pose at any time, then do and then come back up to sitting up. Okay, if that felt like enough, enough of a challenge, then you just repeat this as we move through. If you're uh, wanting to go a little bit deeper, you're just going to bring the legs to um, uh, kind of bent and then just parallel to the floor. And again, you're just leaning back to the point where you can feel your core muscles kicking in. You're keeping the chest lifted so you're not falling into it. And we're just going to take a couple of breaths here. Okay, again, if it feels too much at any point, just take those toes down. Um, just breathing. Okay, good. So you should definitely feel something going on around the abdominal muscles and then coming back, maybe give the knees a little bit of a hug. Okay, and then one um, last progression. So again, you can come back to your first option, toes down. You can keep the legs bent. If you're comfortable to straighten the legs, then we're going to straighten the legs. Another option, which might be more accessible, is to have one leg extended. So your possibility to be here, then we'll take a couple of breaths one side, then the other or have both legs extended, okay? So we're just gonna take a couple of breaths, lift up through the chest, breathing. Feel my legs wobble, <laughs> shaking a bit. Okay, again, if it's too much, you bend one, uh, one leg and focus here, okay? Or have them both. One more breath and then releasing and give those knees a little bit of a hug. Okay, you have to stay for long. You definitely should feel that working. We're gonna come over the toes and onto all fours, okay? Uh, so a couple of cat cows, and then we're going to move into tiger pose, if you have grass now. Um, so wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and go with the breath. So we're breathing in, gazes forward. We're breathing out, and we're tucking under. Exactly the same, breathing in, releasing the spine, Exhale, tucking under. One more time, taking the gaze forwards. And as you're tucking under this time, we're going to bring the left knee in towards the head, towards the chest. Okay, left knee comes in. Then we're going to extend that leg out. Press through the heel. I think you can see, yeah. Press through the heel. Keep that hip turned down so we're not opening. Keep the hip turned down. Do that again. Draw the knee in. Open it up around the upper back extending the leg out one last time drawing that knee in 
and then we're going to come into a balance so you're going to have that keep that leg extended you've got both hands down and you're finding your center okay so you're not too much to the left or to the right you find that center and then you'll be using your core so the you can keep both hands down or you can extend one arm away and then you definitely should start to feel a little bit of core work here if you feel very unsteady you can tuck those back toes that might help so see what feels comfortable. If you want to extend it a little, you might be able to reach round to hold the foot and then you're kicking the foot into the hand. You're obviously adding a little bit more to the balance, making your core work a little bit harder. Okay, good. Gaze might be forward, gaze might be down. Uh, taking another breath and then releasing the hold, so release the foot, hand comes down knee comes down okay so via grass and a tiger pose we're going to do exactly the same to the other side so you're going to draw the other knee in towards the head towards the chest extend that leg out and press through the heel that's such a nice stretch for the calf doing exactly the same again scooping up knee towards the head towards the chest extend that leg out behind and then one more time drawing that knee in scooping up and then extending the leg out okay and then we're keeping the leg extended same options you can keep both hands down just focus on the breath focus on finding your center if you want to lay it on you're going to take the opposite hand extended away so again you're kind of re-finding your center here using your core to find that balance and if you did on your first side you might be able to reach around to find the foot and then you're just kicking into that a little bit. Gaze might be down, gaze might be forwards. You just find what works for you. Remember, you can always come out uh, before I say so, <laughs> if you need to. <laughs> you definitely feel the balance here. And then releasing the foot, hand comes down, knee comes down. And let's come back to child's pose. Just for a couple of breaths, knees can be together, knees can be wider, arms extended or by the side, so your choice. And just taking a couple of breaths. Okay. And then from here, we're going to bring ourselves up to downward facing dog. So you're going to um, tuck the toes, lift up, lift the bottom and the hips. Take a moment just to kind of find the right position. So take those shoulders away from the ears. And move the heels towards the floor, lifting the bottom and the hips. And we're going to move uh, from downward facing dog into a plank, um, but bringing the legs with us. So I'm going to obviously show you what I mean. We're going to take the right leg out behind. Uh, sorry, I think that's your left, isn't it, if you're mirroring me. You're going to draw the knee in towards the head, so towards the chest, and shift the shoulders, the weight forward, so the shoulders are coming over the wrist, and so not beyond but just stacked over the wrist. So you're using your core here. Extend that leg out behind, so back to three-legged dog. Draw that knee in, but this time to the left elbow, okay, behind the elbow to the outside. Extend that leg out behind, so you should feel the strength within the pose. Draw the knee in and across to the opposite elbow, so your right elbow. Extending the leg out behind again, and then taking the foot down okay you might want to take a moment onto or bringing your knees down just to kind <laughs> just to release and then we're going to do exactly the same to the other side um okay so from all fours coming back into downward facing dog so you'll find these core postures are definitely and um, have that extra focus on strength so i'm sure uh, well you may or may not be feeling it so coming back to downward facing dog taking uh, the right leg out behind this time draw that knee in so in towards the uh to the chest okay extending the leg back out again and then drawing the knee in uh but to the outside so it would be to the right elbow again shoulder shifting forward extending the leg back out really push away uh, from the hands then drawing the knee across the body so to the out um, to the other side so the left elbow drawing the knee extending the leg out behind 
and then taking the hand, uh, the foot down, sorry, <laughs> hands, feet getting muddled, taking a moment, lifting up through the bottom and the hips. And then we're going to walk the hands, and that is right, hands back to the feet. So we're going to come into um, Uttanasana for a moment. I'll shift a little bit forwards. Just take a moment, kind of hanging down. And then we'll bring ourselves, um, or take our hands to our uh, hips, and just roll up nice and slowly to standing. So from a standing position, we're going to come to Utkatasana. Um, so this is chair pose. So you're sitting back as if you're sitting into a chair. You've got your knees behind your toes. So not overshooting like this, but really sitting down as if you're going to sit back into a chair. You're bringing your arms up um, in front of you. This can be quite strong on the back. So your option, alternative, is to bring the hands down um, just to shoulder height in front of you, or in prayer at the heart center, okay? This is just checking in with how your back feels and breathing. So, um, Utkatasana, chair pose or fierce pose. I'm gonna come this way, actually, so you can see where I'm gonna go next. Um, this is just so sideways, it's good, nice to see, because then you can see uh, the positioning of the bottom and the knees, okay? The drishti can be just ahead, so straight ahead or looking up. You're using your core here, or star muscles as well, obviously. You're going to bring the hands in towards prayer, or into prayer, and you're going to turn to your right side. So you've got two options here. So we're coming into Paravrata Udkatasana. You might rest the low arm onto the thigh, or you might go a little deeper and hook that elbow. So this is your prayer twist, okay? Take a couple of breaths here, or a few breaths. Okay, maybe your other gentler option is to have the hands here. Breathing, and then we're going to come back to centre. We're going to come straight to the other side. So you've got your options to rest the, the, the lower arm, forearm, or the hooking the elbow into your prayer twist. Paravrita Katasana, revolved chair pose. Your knees are level here. Nice kind of uh, grounding pose. We're using the core. Strength through the standing legs, obviously through the legs. And then we're going to come back to centre. Sweep through Utkatasana. Remember your option for hand placement. And then bring those hands together for at the heart centre. Okay. So we're just going to move this back a bit so my head's not too chopped off on the video. <laughs> Take a, um, a wide-ish stance, so about three feet. We're going to come to Trikonasana. So you're going to take uh, one foot out, the back foot comes in a little if the knee is happy to twist. If it's not, keep the foot at right angles, feet at right angles. So arms to shoulder height, reaching, reaching, reaching with the front hand. So keep nice and open through the shoulder, not turning down, but keep nice and open. When you can reach no more, you let the hand come down to the leg. So you might be above the knee, you might be below the knee, you might be more towards the floor, but find your comfortable position, just not on the knee, so we don't want to create instability. Arm might be up, arm might be on the, or hand might be on the hip, or you might extend Uttita Drikanasana, extended triangle, if that feels good for you. Okay, and breathing. So you are using the core, we're making sure that the elbow stays uh, shoulder, shoulder, sorry, shoulder stays open. <laughs> Unfortunately, mixing up body parts seems to be par for the course of teaching yoga, lifts and rights as well. Okay, when you're coming up, you're using your core, your abdominal muscles, um, to come up. So you're not turning and using the back, you use strength through the core to come back up to standing. Okay, it's important to do that and not to let the back take the weight or the effort. Doing exactly the same to the other side, front foot out, back foot in, arms to shoulder height, so we're nice and open, uh, reaching, 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 so keeping that shoulder open. When you can reach no more, let the hand rest where it wants to, just not on the knee, and then the option to have the arm up, so you can stay here, arm up or over, and that just lengthens the stretch along the side body, okay? You can feel that all of this is working. 
Okay, so the core muscle is not just your abdominals, it's all the kind of wrap around muscles here. And you can feel that when you're working. It's just that you predominantly feels like you're working your, your um, stomach, but it's all the way around. Okay, breathing. And then again, be mindful to engage the core and then up to standing. Okay, so we're going to heel toe. The feet in, come down through a toe squat. So arms just to um, shoulder, or you can have it here, whichever you prefer, onto the toes, <laughs> she says. And then nice and slowly and with control. Oh, a little bit of knee popping coming down to your squat. Okay, so um, we're going to come from here um, onto our bottoms. So we'll come down to sitting um, and we're going to have a look. Actually, it's quite a similar positioning to our Navasana, but it's, it's a different, uh, different feeling. So the feet uh, to the mat, first of all, we're going to come to seated fish. So you're going to have your hands behind you, maybe fingers facing forwards, maybe fingers facing away. Kind of depends how the elbows feel in this position. Um, chest is open, so shoulders are back. You're either going to keep the gaze forwards or you're going to take the gaze up. So we're building to Purvottanasana. Um, we're just pressing into the hands, grounded through the bottom, through the feet, and just feel that stretch. So it's a nice kind of back bend as well. Breathing. So we're just kind of releasing the muscles here. Okay. And then just coming out, nice and simple. If it feels like enough, you can stay with this. If you want to go a little bit deeper, we'll come to reverse tabletop. So hands in the same position. You're just lifting the bottom uh, and the hips. So again, you might be here. You might go a little bit deeper. Gaze might be up or you might keep the gaze forward. Just don't strain the head and the neck. That's the main thing. So just taking a couple of breaths. Try not to drop the head if you can help it. Maybe you can repeat your seated fish if you prefer. And then chin to the chest and then coming down. Not staying for long, just enough to kind of get the muscles working, feel the posture. Um, possibility to layer on. Again, you can stay with what we just did or you can layer on. So legs extended, uh, hands in the same position as uh, before. And then you're just with the legs straight this time, obviously. You're lifting the bottom and the hips. So you might feel more like this, like your bottom sort of hovering. Uh, you're just going to where it's available. You can always come to reverse tabletop again. You can point through the toes if that feels good. Breathing. Not dropping the head, so a comfortable position. If you need to keep the gaze forwards, then do. Can be quite strong on the neck, so you need to find what feels comfortable in your body. And then coming down, bottom uh, to the mat. We're going to bend the knees a little now and just counter with a gentle Paschimottanasana um, forward fold, seated forward fold. Uh, and just let your, um, let your kind of head rest, maybe on the legs, maybe just towards the legs. Arms just loose by the sides, quite strong on the wrists and the upper arms, the previous postures. And then just slowly rolling up. And actually, I think we'll, we'll come to lay down just for a few breaths to close. So let's just come onto our backs. Uh, let your feet be comfortable distance apart. You can still see, see me, yeah. And just kind of soften around the belly. So really kind of relax around the belly. Let's just take uh, three abdominal breaths. You might find it easier to breathe into the belly, laying down. So breathing in, expanding. Exhale, release. Breathing in. Exhale, soften. Again, one more time. Releasing the whole body. Okay, and then we'll just draw the knees in. We're going to rock ourselves up to sitting. If you've got time for Shavasana, 
for a longer relaxation, then I do have that separate uh, short relaxation, short shavasana video. So feel free to use that after this session. Um, if, you, if you've got the time and you want to take a little bit more, uh, make a bit more time for relaxation. Otherwise, we're just gonna close together. So let's just take, um, well, I'll take the opportunity to thank you for joining me, first of all, to uh, congratulate you on making it to this point, almost at the one week point, so that's really good. Uh, bring the hands together, prayer at the heart centre, um, and namaste.